God is a spirit, be a, a physical being. And he created all of us in his image and likeness. Then who does look like God? Who doesn't? So your question is, in Genesis 1.26, did God create only the spirit or did he create at the same time the body? The answer is, in Genesis 1.26, God was creating only the spirit being. That's why on chapter 2, he did brew or breath into the earth he had formed. The Bible says that he created us in his image. Then when he formed, he did blew into that formed earth. That's when the spirit being went into the formed body. And that's when we start living. So in Genesis 1.26, God was only creating the spirit being, which is what is in his image and likeness. The physical body does not look like God and does not function like God. But the spirit being in the physical body is what makes us being able to fulfill God's assignment on the earth. Uh, when God created man in his image and likeness, was God a spirit being and a physical being at the same time? If God is a spirit be a physical being and he created all of us in his image and likeness then who does look like God who doesn't because 7.6 or 7.7 .7, I'm not sure uh, what number now we at. no one looks like anyone else so if you are created in his image and likeness and we do not look alike then his image and likeness we're talking about is not physical. The only part of ourselves that looks alike is our spirit being. God is a spirit. The Bible says God is a spirit and those who worship him have to worship him in the spirit and truth. The Bible is clear. God is not a physical being. Matter of fact, that God does not live on the earth. Hey, God does not live on the earth. God lives in the heavens. That's why when we pray, we say, Our Father, who is not on the earth? You have to precise, who are in heaven. Let me tell you, God is not physical. That the only time he had to do business on the earth, he had to borrow a human body in the name of Jesus. Had to be born from a woman. And next to Jesus, God is only present on the earth through you and me, if you have his spirit. That's why the Bible says we are the body of Christ. That's the only way God can be physical. God can only be physical through you and me. Other than that, God is a spirit and he's not a physical being. If God formed us from the ground, that means he had hands. That is really to have a very little interpretation of the Bible. Forming does not mean crafting as hands. Forming means creating out of something else. That is creating out of nothing. And there is creating out of something else. That's what God was talking about. He created you out of the ground. He formed you from the ground. Our physical body is not created out of nothing. It was crafted from the ground. That's why your physical body has to remain attached to the ground. For example, you're not created to stay in the air. You may fly for a few hours, but you have to come back on the ground. Otherwise, you cannot survive. We're not created, created to stay in the air. We are created to remain attached to the ground. Being attached to the ground does not necessarily mean to walk on the ground. It means to live from the ground. That's why you have to eat plants or animals who are taken from the ground. It's staying attached to the ground. 
Talking about creation, God uses, or the Bible uses, two different words. There is creation in Genesis 1. God created the earth. It's bara. Bara means to create out of nothing. Then forming is the word yasa, which means to mold, to craft out of something else. So God forming us in Genesis two, uh, chapter 2 is crafting you not out of nothing but out of the ground. This is not talking about God having hands. People who would think because God created you in your image and likeness means God is a human being. That is, if God was a human being, then he was not going to be able to create you. Because you will be the source. God is a spirit being. He can only function on the earth, by the way. Only when he goes through you and me. God cannot do anything on the earth. Because when he created the earth, he said, let, it, let us make man in our own image, in our likeness, and let them have dominion. God excluded himself from having dominion on the earth. And this is one of the hardest pill to swallow for religious people. This is what makes you responsible of everything happening on the earth. Humans are responsible of everything happening on the earth. Do you know sometimes I hear people uh, talking about tragedies happening on the earth? Why is God allowing all of this? God is not responsible of what is happening on the earth. He gave you and me, humans, what is a human being. It's a spirit being living in a physical body. That's who is responsible of what is happening on the earth. God himself cannot operate on the earth without a human body. Any spirit being is not allowed to function on the earth without a human body. That's why, for example, uh, the devil, when he was tempting Adam and Eve, he had to borrow a snake's body. That's why the, the, the demons have to possess people to be able to do things on the earth. Because they are nature, they cannot do anything. By the way, that's why when you see someone who's demon possessed, you can cast them out. They have no right to stay on the earth. Only when they manage to do it through humans, the same God is spirit or God is power cannot operate on the earth without a human being. When we understand this, we are more responsible and we can properly function when we understand our responsibility. What does it mean, the finger of God, the yes. hand of God? Uh, you have to understand the Bible is, it's like a poem book. Sometimes it speaks with imagery, it uses images. I do not think when you say the hand of God uh, seized him, I don't think there was a strong hand that came and touched someone. Even if sometimes I remember when they say that the, the finger of God wrote down things. Sometimes it's the images, but God is not a physical being. God is not a physical being. If God is a physical being, then uh, I'm not sure what that physical being will look like. Because if we say, uh, for example, the earth is the uh, stepping tools, tool of God where he put his feet. I think the Bible is speaking in the image so we can understand. What he means is the earth is so small that God can only put his feet on it. And we can, in communication, by the way, in communication, for you to be able to communicate with people, you have to use the, the words they understand. Sometimes when God is speaking to us, he is using images for us to be able to comprehend what he wants to say. So God is not a physical, the Bible is clear. That's why only for you to relate to God, you have to do it spiritually speaking. God is a spirit and only those who are in the spirit can understand him. 
The Bible says God is a spirit and only the spiritual things, only spiritual people can discern things of God. God is not a physical being. The other one is clear. The Bible is full of images. Images in communication, there is always what we call illustrations. If you're taking literally when, for example, Moses, God told Moses, you're going to see my back. Did he see a back? So do you think he saw a back with some muscles? Uh, that's, is it what you have in your mind? God was saying you cannot see the fullness of my presence, of my nature and leave. I will give you a glimpse of who I am. It's like when you didn't, when someone passed by and you didn't, you did not see them, you did not see the person, you just see them passing and you see their back. You do not have a full picture of who they are. You may think, oh, this looks like so and so, but it's not true. Do you guys understand the image? So those are images. So now, if God says, I will carry on you, I will carry you as an eagle, carries its egrets on the wings. Now you think now God is an eagle now? Now do you think God has wings? Do you guys understand? He's giving them images for them to be able to grasp and understand. When I read those scriptures, I see them as images for me to be able to understand it. I do not see them literally as God having a finger and having a rope, uh, God give, being a shepherd. If the God is a shepherd, then you mean he has some cows. You're seeing him as those Musaza in Nyagatari who are shepherds. When I read that, that's not what I see. That's why, for example, the Bible says that the... The, the words or the letter, letters kills, only the spirit gives life. When you read the Bible as letters, just words, without the spirit of God explaining to you what those letters mean, that will bring death, not life. That's why we have to understand the Bible or the word of God at the light of the spirit of God. Those are images. God is a spirit. A physical body is this. God does not have hand. That's why you cannot become one with him in our physical being. When he says we have a new bodies, I don't know how they look like. I all know it's not a physical body. But you're trying to get God into your mind and assess God from your physical understanding, that's not possible. 